Right then, uh, we're in the kitchen now with Phil and he's got a festive treat <gasps> for us. This really is a treat. I love the way Josie says December. December. Yeah, <laughs> I'm calling my ear. Here we go, mince pies, there we go, there they are, right there. Now, Ooh. you can make them yourself and, and there are some very, very good ones around, I have to say. They look perfect. But sometimes it's just quite nice to muck about and make your own. My mum makes amazing mince pies. Can you ask her for some to bring in, please? Oh, there please, you go. Please. She'll be That's watching, she's down in Cornwall. Alcohol. Be... Right. Lots of alcohol okay. in it, though. She'll panic now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. So what, how do you make yours? Now, I buy mincemeat. You can make it. We used to make um, big plastic dustbins for every Christmas and a month before and marinade. Same with Christmas mm -hmm. um, puddings as well. You can buy them. Now, the trouble I've got with a lot of mince, short-bought mince pie, you buy by price, mincemeat, I should say. The cheaper the versions, the more syrup they have in. So when you mm. cook them, they tend to cook out. Ah, and I that's when, it, which is fine. I don't mind a little bit of that. I quite like that. I do, but not too much, Phil. And then what happens is you end up with a mince pie that's not completely full. Yes, oh. that's annoying. That is annoying. So a little tip for you here. Here's a, a short bottle I bought in. You can see how quite how loose that is as it just falls off. That's the syrup in there. See that? The white bits. That's suet. That is suet. That, that is suet. Do you know what I mean? So that just. So what is in it? Just with candy fruit, dried fruit, suet, probably a bit of treacle. Suet so it is. Uh, it can be both. It can be a vegetable fat. It can also be a beef fat or a lamb fat. Right. We used to take the lamb fat and put it in ours as well. Yeah, I could do without. Anyway, that, now uh, what I'm going to do? That's what instantly put me off. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to mine because yeah. there's not left in there for me personally. And then I've got orange and lemon zest in, mm. which is fine. You put a little bit of that in there. It's fine. Um, again, once you cook it, you tend to lose that pungency, which I'll come on to in a second. And then here's what I do. Depending on how loose that mixture is, I'll add a few bread crumbs mm. or a few ground up ground almonds because you get a nice oiliness from the ground almonds, but it will thicken the mixture. And a few just fresh bread crumbs just to soak up that, that syrup. OK. Like so. OK? And you'll see that just tightens it up nicely. Mm, Look at that there. Smell it. So when you actually cook it, it tends to hold itself. Now... What's this magic done? Now, here, this is here. This is what I made. I had a bit of a brainwave at 2.30 in the morning the other day. That's how right. sad my life is. Um, I had some satsuma skin that was left over. And there it is. You just see that. And what I did was I mixed out a bit of egg white and some, and some sugar, icing sugar, left it to dry out. And I ground it up to make this, this fantastic is... marmalade. How did you make it that small? Smell that. I, I put it in a, in a spice grinder. <gasps> I know! What the... Yeah. So this is a byproduct that you throw away. And that is, is that pungency. It's really bitter. You could put that on everything. Yes, it's like a marmalade. Sometimes the, Ch the Chinese put it on things like scallops. I love. So what you do is you put a little bit in there and that gives that marmalade kick even more. I don't know what taste that. Mm, I will, I will. Look at that. See, isn't that great? But normally you throw it away. So how did you get it that, that powdery? I, I put it into a little spice grinder, grinder. a coffee grinder. Right, OK. okay. I'm, I'd I'm sprinkle that. that over stuff. Yes, it works perfectly mm. well. Right. Basically, pretty much the recipe's on the website. Um, I tend to use a tiny bit more butter. This is equal quantities of flour and butter in here. But a little bit more butter makes a, more, a, a softer, juicier uh, end result. But the thing about that is when you cook them, you need to leave them for 10 minutes to rest because there's so much butter mm. and they'll break. In here, I've mixed it up. And then what I do is I add an egg, one whole egg, to the mixture. I won't bother doing it because it makes too much noise. And here's the other thing I use. I use the shell that's left and I pour in half a shell of water and that is enough to make the pastry, along with the egg, a nice consistency. Clever. No, it's just... It's called, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Um... Saving on the water. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so we've made this one here, and all you need to do then, then is just fill these up quite so how full. how much do you put in? Oh, you so do. I would fold these right up like that. So, again, because the mixture's quite tight now, you can get away with filling a little bit more. Because the thing is, with a lot of the shop-bought ones, um, they taste gorgeous and the pastry's lovely, but there's a big gap between exactly. the filling and the... That's because of the consistency of the mixture. Yeah. Do you know what else I like? Oh. You've done a crinkle one round the edge and then a flat yeah. one that sits in the middle, which Can I actually... be really honest? It was Julia, actually, not me. That is a co that's clever. <laughs> Julia, who helps all us. <laughs> Julia did it. Julia's uh, fantastic. But that is... That's a good tip, that. And it does look nice. My mum would do a crinkly one. perfect. But also, bear in mind, the crinkly top, you've got both crinkles, you will get a bit of cookout as well, cos it's not yes. sealed. So a little bit of egg, and then my mum... My mum always did this, and uh, how I, I would never, ever go against her. Milk. Egg not, and milk? No, no, just milk on top. Oh, no egg. Egg to go around to seal it, and milk on top, with a little bit of brown sugar, Actually, sprinkle on. Oh, and actually to sprinkle on. You seal your... it with egg, do you? You seal it round the edge with egg oh, okay. and you butter it, with, or you paste it with milk on top. Right. And then you put a little tiny hole on oh, the top, do? like so, and it lets the steam out. Right. Okay, now you can chill these, you can freeze them in the whole tray and cook them from frozen raw. Can you? And they'll still work, provided this is um, non stick. Now, at that stage, you, can you, you cook them for about Ooh. 25 minutes, you take them out of the oven, and they'll end up like these little beauties here. And I want you to take, help yourself. You've got clotted cream there, Philip. I'm just mm -hmm. going to go straight up. And you've got brandy butter. Um, so there's your brandy butter yep. if you want it. I'm gonna... Your yeah. um, clotted cream.
Clotted Cream film is going out I think it's going tomorrow. out tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. fantastic. Oh, wow. oh, we made a film on Clotted Cream. Oh, that's ever happened to me. Oh. Just show the holes, just show the camera. Mm. So that you can just see how full that is. Look mm. at that. Look at that. Look how full that is. That's because you've had that thing to it. That's and so um, so a gluten free version. There's a gluten free version as well, if, if, which I do a lot of work in. And also, can I just say, mm. I met some girls in Devon on um, Saturday. They were absolutely bonkers. They came from Bristol. They were great fun. So, girls, I would say hello. I have said hello. There you go. What are they called? I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we all had a bit too much to drink. Oh, mm -hmm. did you? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, this is really very, mm -hmm. very lovely, that, Phil. There you go. Mm. Nice. Yeah. But you can see... I love it. If I just break that open, you'll well, just see so that nice. love. Look at that. Completely full. Mm. That is because you, you don't get so much. Thank you. We out. need a little glass of sherry to go with this. You do. <laughs> and a brandy, probably. Go away. <laughs> go away. Actually, really, really Thank don't you. want Thank to put you. it down. I'm Thank not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Uh, absolutely absolutely Thank you. stunning. I love that um, satsuma dust as well. Mm. All the recipe details are on our This Morning app.